Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Commander Quickie. Today's game lasted an hour and a half, while this abridged version shrinks it down to about 25 minutes, so you can enjoy a full game of Commander in the span of a TV episode instead of a movie. Now let's introduce our players. First up we've got Ian, running Seki Season's Guide, a mono green combo deck utilizing an old school commander that I don't think I've ever seen played before. Ian keeps a starting hand with two forests, myriad landscape, dragon fangs, swiftfoot boots, cultivate, and shamanic revelation. Our second player is Zeke, playing General Tazri, a five color sacrifice combo deck that uses Tazri to tutor up a secret commander in the 99 that enables his combo finishers. Zeke keeps a hand with an island, Scattered Groves, Bubbling Cauldron, Sakura Tribe Elder, Ashnon's Altar, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, and Ashen Skin Zubera. Our third player is Dwoods aka Dwoodles, piloting Nethroi Apex of Death, an Abzan sacrifice deck looking to sacrifice creatures for value and drain out the table in the process. Dwoods mulls down to 6 and keeps a hand with Prismatic Vista, Forest, Swamp, Mask of Grizzlebrand, Luminous Broodmoth, and Bolus's Citadel. Finally, I'm playing Cardor Doom Scourge, a Rakdos reanimator deck looking to reanimate huge threats while forcing my opponents to kill each other with Cardor's force combat ability. I keep a starting hand with a Mountain, Malachy Rebirth, Sign and Blood, Genesis Chamber, Cursed Mirror, Azra Oddsmaker, and Garna the Blood Flame. With our starting hands covered, let's hop into the game. Play a tapped Myriad Landscape and pass. I will play a Scattered Groves tapped and pass. Swamp and pass. There we go, Malachy Meyer and pass. Uh, forest, and I will play Swiftfoot Boots and pass. Um, I will play a Swamp, and then I will tap two for a Soccer Tribe Elder, and I will pass the turn. Let's go Forest, and then I'll tap two, and I'll play Grizzly Salvage. I will reveal the top five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to keep Command Tower, and I'll put Spider Spawning, Bantu's Monument, Plum the Forbidden and Timeless Witness into the graveyard. Swamp. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Cast Genesis Chamber. And then I pass. Forest. I suppose we can cultivate now. I'll just grab two, uh, two forests and then I'm done. Pass. All right. I will, at the end of your turn, sacrifice Soccer Tribe Elder and get a land. I will get a mountain tapped. Play a Savage Lands for a turn. And then I will play a Llanowar Elf. And I'll get a Mur, I'm assuming. Yes, you get a 1 1 colorless mirror artifact creature token. Okay, it'll be this backwards card for now. And then I will tap two and probably make you not want to keep giving me Murs. I'm going to play a Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> not like this. And get a, a second one. You're supposed to attack um, with them. I'll probably attack with them. Uh, and then I'll just pass my turn after that. Tomer, I'm sorry. I don't know if Genesis Chamber was a good one to play. I'll play Command Tower. <laughs> so it's you. And I will play Blood Artist. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. And I will get a mirror. Uh, I'm going to use this human token to represent it for now. And then I will pass. I regret nothing. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Slight, slight regret, slight regret. I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to cast Azra Odds Maker, and I'm going to make a mirror token, and then I'm going to pass, and I'm going to go grab a token while that happens. I'll play a forest. I guess we'll just do it now. I'll, I'll crack Miri Landscape and uh, two drought, two forests tapped, but that'll be it for me. I'll pass. Play this Lumbering Falls tapped. And then I will tap five and cast my commander, General Tazri. I will get uh, another Mer token. And ETB trigger, I will go and get an ally from my deck. Uh, Seagate Lore Master to my hand. And then I will go to combat. I guess I will swing both of these at Ender. Okay, uh, no blocks. One ones, right? Two. Yep, just two damage. Sounds good. I will go ahead and pass the turn. Play Prismatic Vista, and I will play Mask of Grizzlebrand, and then I will crack the Prismatic Vista for a Plains, and then I'll pass. Play a Swamp. All right, I, I'm gonna move to combat, 
at the beginning of combat, I'm going to use Azra Odds Maker's ability to discard a card. Let's discard a swamp. Uh, choose a creature, the Azra Odds Maker. Uh, then I'm going to attack uh, Ender for three. No blocks. All right, uh, so you take three, and when that happens, Azra Odds Maker lets me uh, draw two cards. Post combat, main phase, uh, Cardor, Doom Scorch. Uh, so when it enters the battlefield, uh, until your next turn, creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able, and attack a player other than you if able. And whenever attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And I'll pass. Oh, uh, I'll I opened that wrong. Draw. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody heard that. I mean, I'm so good. <laughs> I'll play a forest. I'll play a long forgotten Goe. I think that's it I can do. I will pass. Probably take a lot of damage this go around. <laughs> At the end of your turn, I'm going to activate Priest. I'm going to sacrifice the two Murs, uh, two of the three Murs I have, and have each of you lose two life um, and sack a creature. And then. I mean, Blood Artist triggers for these are on the stack on top of my priest. I'll, I'll do two to you, Immortal, and I'll gain two. You can just call me uh, Zeke, by the way, if you want. That's my name. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys can call me Ian also. Okay, if you don't Ian, want to call me Zeke, Ender. and then um, we all have to sack a creature. I'll do the mirror. I'll do one of my mirror. This is a thought through, but it's really a mirror. And I'll have uh, Tomer and Zeke each lose one and I'll gain two. And then I will proceed to my turn. I will play this fancy island. Cast the Seagate Loremaster everybody know, knows about. And make a Mer. Cast a Tangle Flourish Hedron. Making another Mer. And do do do. I'm going to activate Priest right now. Sacrificing the old Mer and one of the new ones to have each of you lose two. And I will draw a card and make two black mana. I'll hit Zeke for two from those two dying. Uh, oh. And then I'm going to lose two from the other effect. I'll have Tomer and Zeke. Each lose one, and I'll gain two. Okay, and this then I will. The purpose of the mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Just giving them fodder. They had a noble purpose. <laughs> yeah, to die. Will... <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Don't worry, the forgotten gods won't forget. And then I'll pay two to cast bubbling cauldron. No! The two black men I have. Uh, and then I have combat, and I will swing three at. Uh, Dewoods. No, I'll take three. And I think that's the only creature I have that can attack. So I will proceed to pass the turn. I'll play a Swamp. I'll play a Destiny Spinner. And then I'll get a Mirror. And I will attach the Mask of Grizzlebrand to the Destiny Spinner. And then I will go ahead and pass. Uh, I'm going to pay three. And I'm going to cast Cursed Mirror. And Cursed Mirror is going to enter the battlefield as a copy of Azra Oddsmaker. When it enters the battlefield, because it is a creature as it enters the battlefield, I'm going to make a Mirror token. Move to combat and i'm going to use uh both triggers from both the azure odds makers to discard two cards a swamp and a sign in blood and i'm going to target uh the car door and the azure odds maker with both the triggers but you have uh you have these blockers that i gave you no all right <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry ian <laughs> Oh, fair enough. I need to draw cards. Um, yeah, I get it. So, I, uh, Ian, I'm going to hit you for seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, no blocks. All right. You take seven. I'm going to get two Azure Oddsmaker triggers. So I'm going to draw four cards. Post combat, main phase, command tower. I'm going to move to. I'm going to pass the turn and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand. I'll play a forest for turn. We finally got there. Let's play Seki. <laughs> you got a we'll blocker on yeah, the board. We'll see yeah. I have two blockers with this trusty mirror now. Yes. Ooh, look at that. You better not sacrifice. Uh, Don't yeah. break my heart like that, Ian. <laughs> yeah, I would be real sad. Uh, so he enters with uh, eight plus one plus one counters, though. Okay. And then, yeah, I will pass. Um, I'm going to start off my turn by tapping Seagate Lore Master and drawing two cards. I'm just going to do a, a weird thing, I think. And I'm going to, yeah, uh, it's going to look real strange. I'm going to kill my commander by sacking it to the cauldron and gaining four life. Mm, nice. You need that I'm gonna put it, it, Yeah, I'm going to put it back in command zone to recast. Does that resolve table of non-blue players? 
Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm all out of green counters, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. And its ETB trigger is going to get me something, I'm sure. Someone might have seen coming. I'm going to get Mirror Entity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, Ooh, love that one. Yeah. Interesting. That's my hidden commander in my uh, tribal tribal deck. And then I will go ahead and get a mirror. I'm going to play this that. murmuring bosk and reveal this mirror entity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that way it comes in untapped. Um, That's a galaxy brain level play. I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to cast. I don't think I want to cast anything. I'm just going to pass the turn after that. I'm going to play Witch's Cottage tapped, and I'm going to not evoke a Shriek Maw. Now, Dang. what would be a good target to hit? I could hit... I could this hit would be Rat. great to kill if you could. <laughs> you could hit Seki, <laughs> but that feels mean. I mean, yeah. uh, I wouldn't hold it against you. I do think the Lore Master might actually be a good target. I think but, the Lore uh, Master is what I would vote on as well. Uh, yeah, if I play this and activate it for one, I now draw this many cards. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, thank you for that. You've convinced me. I need the Lore Master. <laughs> I mean, I'm I was, not going to lie to you. <laughs> I didn't think about that. It's I pretty was just good like, size, yeah. yeah. He's an 8-8. Eight, eight. That's scary, but oh no, that actually was the scariest <laughs> part. He'll start getting real weak, though. Once I do damage to him, this is a self-masochism deck. Like, I'm trying to hurt Seki, so. I'm going to move to combat, and Zeke, I'm going to hit you in the air for two. Ah, uh, just a glutton for punishment this game, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll gain Down to two. 36. <laughs> and then all pass. I'm sorry, Zeke, but you keep you keep destroying my beautiful gifts, and <laughs> I need to make sure you stop doing that. So I'm gonna pay six mana, and I'm gonna cast Noxious Gearhulk, targeting the priests of the Forgotten Gods. Or er, I'm gonna, gonna cast Noxious Gearhulk again? if it resolves. You're gonna make me do it again. Yeah, it resolves. I, I got nothing for that. All right, so it resolves. Uh, two triggers. Uh, Noxious Gearhulk. Targets the priest of Forgotten Gods, but also I'm gonna make another little happy little mirror thopter thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna activate it in response. I'm gonna, you know, sack the precious mirrors because you're no! making me do it. <laughs> this is this is why it has to die. This is why. <laughs> and then I'll target uh you monster. each one of you, so you all have to sack one creature. I will and Sorry, lose two life, and then I will I'll sack the make mirror. two black. I'll sack a mirror. <laughs> not how they're supposed to die. <laughs> I'll make two black mana and draw a card. Um, and then you'll gain two life because the priest will die. Oh, but yeah. now all my card draw is gone. Look at that. It's all in the grave. <laughs> all right. Well, That's now if you just don't sacrifice the mirror, then we won't have any beef. <laughs> no beef here. Just threatening. Just like, <laughs> don't sack the mirrors. Come on. <laughs> Servo is closer. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to. Everybody has a blockers now. Yikes. You can come my way, please. Actually. Yeah, but then right, you go the... block it. I want to. I want to draw cards. <laughs> I'll block one of them, and you can let the other one get through. Will you let me? Let me. Let me the one that I target with the card draw go through. Hmm? Well, who would you target? Uh, you can kill Carter. <laughs> that just helps you. You can recast. <laughs> no, I want to kill the other one. Ha! <laughs> You're driving a hard bargain here. If All you right, target Cardor, I'll block the other one. Draw cards. I'll let Cardor through and let you draw two cards. All right, you have me. I, I, I draw cards. All right, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> I'm going to discard uh, Corpse Connoisseur to Azra Oddsmaker's ability at the beginning of combat. I'm going to target Cardor Doom Scourge with the uh, Azra Oddsmaker ability. And I'm going to swing both at you, Ian. Sounds good. I will block the Azra Oddsmaker. All right. So you take four commander damage. Azra yep. Oddsmaker dies. I get the Azra trigger, draw two. I make uh, three tokens. I remove three counters from Seki and make three spirit tokens. Yeah. See? Win-win. Yeah, win-win. All right, post-combat, I'm going to play a mountain, and I'm going to pass. Oh. I'll play a land for turn. I guess I'll start with a Quipping Swiftfoot to Seki, just to try and avoid any issues there. Some targeted removal purchase. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of it was going around that last uh, go around at the table, so I'd like to avoid that. Um, just don't sacrifice any mirror. We'll be fine. <laughs> 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 Pay four for a Path of Discovery. So whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, I explore, or it oh explores. 
gosh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I can go through like my whole deck pretty fast with that one. Um. Oh my goodness! With oh with Seki. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, nice. And then I'll cast Dragon Fangs on Seki. So oh, plus one, plus one, and trample. Oh no, it's got trample. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna pass for one one go around. I will untap with a significantly less impressive <laughs> yeah. board state. <laughs> See, we're cool. Just no more sack outlets, please. <laughs> okay. Um. One white, two green, mere entity. Hey. Floating Dream Zubera. I think I'm just going to do this now. Oh, wow. That's uh, cool. I'm going to activate mere entity for zero. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that card draw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to draw five cards. Oh, my gosh. Supposed to attack like off it. them. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I will draw. I played two, so I will draw two more cards because I have two mirrors. And look at this. My <laughs> wife was kind enough to bring me my box of tokens. Uh, nice. Nice. So I appreciate those. seeing that. Activate. Uh, this is the board state. Uh, activate mirror for zero. All of them will die. They will all be Zuberas when they die. Therefore, so floating dream Zubera will draw me cards equal number of Zuberas that went to grave, which is seven. That yeah, that's insane. actually sick. So I will draw seven cards. Awesome. awesome. Not bad. My blood artist, no. I know, <laughs> imagine. I will play a forest for turn. It's okay. You are you can have your blood artist. I'm going to tap five and cast Living no. Death. No. Oh. oh, that's uh, so bad. I don't have any responses. <laughs> that's pretty bad for me. I'm going to pay two life and draw two cards with Mask of Crystal Brand. And I get back uh, blood artist and timeless witness. I'll grab Grizzly Salvage. I will also have uh, a trigger from Corpse Connoisseur. I just put Sadness on the stack. <laughs> Resolves. <laughs> uh, if I could counter it for you, I would. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm going to put Anger in the Grave Baron, so all my, my board has haste. So I will uh, resolve General Tazri. You also get I a will... mirror, I believe, for each of those, all of you. Oh, yeah, every single right. guy cast right. to the just battlefield. BTB. Yeah, <laughs> that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, pretty gross. Oh my gosh! So I'm a little scared right now, Zeke. But <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can find a board wipe. I don't know. Uh, go right ahead. You can board wipe me. That's fine. I guess I'll grab one that's not as scary because of the board state. I'll grab Hamilar Excavator, and that'll be the end of my turn. And I will have to discard down. I will discard the Excavator I just put into my hand. An Evolving Wilds. Uh, a Vampire Charm Seeker. A Sekuar Deathkeeper. I will discard a Dismal Backwater. I'm going to tap six, and I will play Bolasa Citadel. Oof, that's bad. Is there any, is there any response? <laughs> nope. Nope. I'll look at the top card. I will pay four life and put uh, Erebos Bleak Hearted into play. He's online. And then I'll look at the top card. I'll pay three and I'll put Morbid Opportunist into play. Don't forget your Murs for each of those. Yeah. Oh, you're right, too. And then I'll look at the top card. I will pay four. I will put a uh, Migratory Great Horn into play. What? I'll look at the top card. <laughs> I will put a Undergrowth Stadium into play. I'll get the top card. I will pay six. I will play a Underworld Hermit, and I will get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squirrels. Oh my. Look at the cute squirrel, though. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay three. I will play Midnight Reaper. I'll look at the top card. I'll leave that there. I'm going to tap Bullis the Citadel, and then activate the other mode of Bullis the Citadel, sacrificing all of the squirrel tokens I just made. That will drain, that will hit everybody for 10 damage. And then I will do an additional 10 to Z, and I will gain 10. So I will draw a card. I think that will be my turn, and then I will pass. Not bad. <laughs> Bullis the Citadel every time, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just gonna pay all my life and almost die, because it will be funny, but. <laughs> Play a mountain. Hazard's Monument, recast Cardor. I'm going to move to combat. Oh no, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. 
I can't help it. Wait, wait, no, I can't. I, I'll, uh, I'll just hit you for one. How about that's that's pretty. Sure. That's pretty nice. That's pretty okay. You know, I will take that deal for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to activate. Uh, I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to use Azra Odds Maker's uh, trigger ability um, on one of the mirror. I'm going to discard Combustible Gear Hulk. The the mirror that is Azra up. I, I aim at Ian, and the other two I'm going to send at Woods. I'll block with Erebos and the Migratory Great Horn. Um, two of the mirror will die, triggering Cardor. So each opponent loses one life, and I gain one life twice. So each opponent loses two life. I'll lose three total then for the yes. damage and that. And uh, as our odds maker triggers, so I will draw two cards. I'll draw a card seeing uh, from Morbid Opportunist seeing one of the tokens die. I'll drain Tomer and I'll gain two. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. I did hit you. Let's do Genesis Wave for just a lowly six. Big. Spicy. Pretty weak. Big. Something Let's see big. what I hit. Stoneforge, Maskwood, Uvenwall Tracker, Forest, Forest, Growing Rights. Uh, so I'll trigger Growing Rights, I guess. You have two explore triggers, right? From the oh, yeah, true, the true. Tracker? Yeah, you are correct. It's fine. Uh, Uvenwald I'll do first. Um, hey, Ayula. That's one of my combos. Um, yeah, I'll move through to my second main equip Swiftfoot there. And I guess I'll just pass and hope I don't die. Okay, at the end of your turn, I'll sack soccer, tribe elder. Uh, there's a blood artist trigger, I think. I think it's the only trigger from that. I'll have uh, Tomer take one, and I'll gain one. Uh, then I'll draw a card off of Morbid Opportunist for seeing the Sakura Tribe Elder die. Uh, yeah, and then I will get a Swamp tapped, and then I will go into my turn, if that's cool with everybody. I feel like yep. we're dead. <laughs> I think so. Pretty sure we're so, dead. Uh, so if I activate Mirror Entity and try to like loop, I died a Blood Artist. Yeah, but you do have a T gate, so you're gonna draw like a bajillion. I'm gonna try. I'm absolutely gonna try. <laughs> um, yeah, so untap, uh, upkeep nothing, and I'll draw a card. Okay, that's a cool card, but doesn't help me. I will pay one green with my Llanowar Elves and make all my creatures one ones with all creature types. Is that cool? Is that resolve? I see. I'll allow it. Love it. I'll tap Seagate Lore Master. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cards. Oh my good. <laughs> Get him out. All right. I thought I was getting card advantage, but that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll draw 15 cards and pray that one of my answers is in here. I think the answer to that question is yes. All right. Um, now I just got to piece it together. Um, I'll play this planes as land for turn. Yeah, uh, I'm going to tap four, uh, and I'm going to play Pitiless Plunderer, the most Ooh. expensive uncommon. <laughs> yes, I will have another mirror. I will cast Goblin Bombardment. Oh. Ooh, seems good. W love it. Um, and then I'm going to use Goblin Bombardment. I won't sack a Mer, tell Mer, don't worry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll sack the Llanowar Elves to shoot Blood Artist for one. Blood Artist is going to die. Uh, I'll drain you, Zeke, for two, and I'll gain two. And then I will take a damage from Midnight Reaper, and then I'll draw a card for a Morbid Opportunist. So I'll draw two here. I make a treasure from that. Play Ashiok Dream Render. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my, my bane. The bane of my existence. <laughs> um, and then I will... Tick it down, targeting myself with the mill, and I'll exile everyone's graveyards. And then I guess I'll present a loop at this point. I have one mana up, but I will tap one green, activating Mirror Entity again to make all the creatures I currently have in play all creature types. Uh, so I'm going to basically sacrifice everything besides the floating Dream Zubera, and I'm going to shoot all of that damage at Dwoods. Uh, because you have the Goblin Bombardment. Yeah, and then after that, all of those besides... No, it's whenever a creature. Wow, it doesn't even say non-token. All of that will make treasure. And then I'm going to cast Mnemonic Wall. 
Uh, and then you're living end over and over again. Yeah. Well, so I have living death back in hand. I'm actually not going to cast this, though. I'm going to cast uh, Faith's Reward. Mm. So that way it only affects my stuff just in case yeah. there's ETBs and stuff happening. Yeah, so that's uh, an infinite, infinite Goblin Bombardment trigger, so everybody dies from that. Yeah. I would yeah. like to have gotten back... I guess I could. I'll cast Return to the Ranks targeting Ember Fist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that way I have the Ember Fist Zubera damage on the stack too. <laughs> no. I got nothing. GG. Which is the... Yeah, I got nothing. And I will tap and then die in response. Mm -hmm. <laughs> GG. Nice. How sweet. Yeah, that was a yeah. good one. A plus. Now that was a sick game. Zeke's Tazri deck managed to pop off hard, showcasing the powerful combo potential of his hidden commander, Mirror Entity, and combined some classic combo pieces with unique finishers. Dwood's also popped off hard near the end, showing just how powerful Bolus's Citadel can be, especially when combined with life drain effects like Blood Artist. Ian's Seki deck didn't get to show off as much this game, but his explanations of the combos he was going for was very cool, and it was such a treat seeing a barely known commander show up for a game. As for my deck, this wasn't the table for poor Cardor. This deck is very strong against combat focused decks where goading is super effective, but it's weak against combo decks and is straight up king making sacrifice decks. I'm going to tweak this deck for future games, with the first change being taking out Genesis Chamber and adding some combo finishers of my own, and hopefully it works out better next time. And that's it for this Commander Quickie. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more Quickies in the future, and until next time friends, see ya!